Hello all students in the previous lesson we had talked about Stirling's formula and in today's lesson we will talk about Bessel's interpolation formula. So let's see how we can derive Bessel's interpolation formula. For that purpose we will be requiring uh, the two previous formulas the Gauss's forward interpolation formula and Gauss's backward interpolation formula. To derive Bessel's formula we need to perform some operations on Gauss's backward formula that means we need to shift the origin that is in the Gauss's backward formula to 1 from 0 to 1 and for this we need to perform two steps. Step number 1 we need to replace u by u minus 1 in the Gauss's backward interpolation formula. This is the first step and the second step that we need to shift y forward. What we mean by shifting y forward that means if there is a y0 then we will replace it by y1. If there is a y, let's say del y2, then we will replace it with del y3. If there is a del y minus 2, then we need to replace this with del y minus 1, taking one position forward. So we need to shift y forward by one position. So let's do these two operations on Gauss's backward interpolation formula and see what we achieve. So let's say this is the Gauss's uh, backward difference formula equation number two. So we are performing these two operations. So now this y will be y0 will become y1 plus u will be written as u minus one. This is factorial one del y minus one will become del y0. Then this is plus. So this is u plus one. We have to replace this u by u minus one. So this will be u minus one plus one and this u will be u minus 1 divided by factorial 3 delta y minus 1 so we need to shift it so this is del 2 y 0 the next term so this is u so we have to write u minus 1 plus 1 this is u we have u minus 1 this is u minus 1 so we have u minus 1 minus 1 this is all divided by factorial 3 and this will be del 3 y minus 1 because del 3 y minus 2 will be shifted forward and this will become del 3 y minus 1. So we have like this. Uh, so this is the equation number 3. Let's call it equation number 3. We have achieved this equation number 3 by shifting the origin of equation number 2 to 1. Right. Now we need to perform the averaging that is the averaging of Gauss's forward formulas terms with this equation number three's term that is we will take equation number one and we will take equation number three and we will perform averaging of each term like we have done this into the Stirling's formula but in Stirling's formula we picked up Gauss's forward and Gauss's backwards formula now we will take Gauss's forward formula but this is the equation number three here in this case and we will perform the averaging of each term so let's do it and now once we'll do the averaging we'll have a new formula this is y let's say we do the average of first two term here the first term is y0 and here the first term is y1 so this will be y0 plus y1 divided by 2 next is so this is the second number term and here it is the second number term into the equation number three so this will be so we'll write plus so this will be u del y zero and we have a del y zero common here so we can take this uh, del y zero common and we have u plus u minus one divided by two so this is the averaging so the next term plus so in the next term this is the third term in Gauss's backward and this is the third term so we need to take the average of uh, these two you can see here minus 1 and plus 1 will be cancelled out this is u u minus 1 and this is also u u minus 1 so this is by factorial 2 is a common term so we can see that this will be u u minus 1 divided by factorial 2 and then the average of these two so we'll take a del 2 y minus 1 plus here it is del 2 y 0 
So this is how we can take uh, this is uh, this common from here and from here and then we'll take the average of these delta y minus 1 plus delta y 0 whole divided by 2. So this will be the average of the third terms. In the same way, we'll take the average of the uh, next, uh, let's say the fourth term and so on. So this is how we can achieve the Bessel's formula. So plus and so on. Let me see. So this equation number four will behave the Bessel's will behave as the Bessel's formula. So now let me explain you this Bessel's formula with the help of an example. So now let's consider this example to solve the Bessel's uh, uh, using the Bessel's uh, formula. We need to find out the value of y at x is equal to 25. So we have the data values uh, function y is equal to fx for x 20, 24, 28 and 32. We have y 24, 32, 35 and we have this as 40. So we need to take uh, one origin as we can see that the question value is 25. So let me take the origin is uh, this value. If I take this as the origin, then this will be x0. This will be x minus 1 and this will be x1 and this will be x2. So these are the uh, values for us. Uh, we can also take the origin as this one. So in that case, this would have been x0, x minus 1, x minus 2 and this would have been x1. I have taken 24 as x0. So this 24 will be x0. This is x minus 1. This is x1 and this is x2. Respectively, this will be y0. This will be y minus 1. This will be y1 and this will be y2. Now we'll develop the forward difference table like we have done in the previous uh, uh, question so we'll deal with the forward difference table this will be uh, del y minus 1 so del y minus 1 will be 32 minus 24 this is del y minus 1 now this will be equal to 8 next is 35 minus 32 this will be del y 0 so this is 35 minus 32 that is 3 the next will be this is del y 1 this is a uh, y2 minus y1 that is 40 minus 35 this will be 5 in the next column this will be del 2 y minus 1 because we are making forward difference table so this will be 3 minus 8 so this 3 minus 8 is minus of 5 next will be del 2 y 0 and this will be 5 minus 3 that is 2 uh, in the last one we'll have del 3 y minus 1 so del 3 y minus 1 is equal to del 2 y 0 minus del 2 y minus 1 that is 2 minus minus of 5 coming 7 so this is the forward difference table we have created now let me mark or let me highlight what are the values that we need into this Bessel's formula so we need y0 we need y1 so we can see this is we need y0 and we need y1 we need both the values here then we need uh, del y0 so we need this del y0 the center value in between y1 and y0 this is del y0 then we need del y del 2y minus 1 and del 2y0 so this is del 2y minus 1 and this is del 2y0 we need these two values and in the last we need uh, del 3y minus 1 we need only these to till these term 1 2 3 and 4 we need till four terms we'll require formula till four terms so this is del 3 y minus 1 so these are the values that we need so we need to save these values i'll write these values aside and then i'll replace these values into the formula let's see the direction so here we have a uh, direction something like this you can see so this is the direction that we can see now let me save these values aside and then uh, replace these values into the formula. Let me see what are the values that we need. Uh, we need this uh, y0 that is 32. Uh, then we need y1 that is 35. Then we need del y0. So this is del y0 which is equal to 3. Then we need this del 2 y minus 1 and which is minus of 5. Then we need del 2 y0 this is equal to 2 and lastly we need del 3 y minus 1 which is equal to 7 so we have uh, all these values aside and now we need to calculate this u also the formula for the u is uh, the question value minus the origin divided by the interval so what is the question value here this is x dash is 25 so we see that this is 25 
minus x0 that is the origin value we had taken here 24 so this is 25 minus 24 divided by h the interval so what is the interval we can see 20 to 24 this is 4 24 to 28 this is 4 so the interval here is 4 so this is coming uh, 1 upon 4 so we have this as 1 upon 4 so you can see the h is coming to be 1 upon 4 or we can simply write the u as 0 0.25 this is 1 upon 4 0 0.25 so we have that u now let me uh, replace all these values into the Bessel's formula so let me erase this and uh, then I'll replace all the values into the Bessel's formula so let me start this is y we have y0 in the first one plus y1 so what is y0 y0 is 32 so the first term is 32 plus the y1 what is y1 this is 35 so this is 35 divided by 2 plus we have this u what is the value of u that is 0 0.25 minus 1 upon 2 and then we have del y0 so the del y0 here is 3 so we are writing 3 the next term uh, let me write the next term third term here plus this is u so we have uh, 0 0.25 then we have u minus 1 that is 0 0.25 minus 1 whole divided by factorial 2 then in the brackets we have del 2y minus 1 what is del 2y minus 1 this is minus of 5 then plus del 2y0 del 2y0 is 2 so this is 2 divided by 2 so this is third term and we need to write this fourth term also so we'll write plus that is u u is here 0 0.25 minus 1 upon 2 then again u so we have a 0 0.25 and then u minus 1 so we have 0 0.25 minus 1 whole divided by factorial 3 and then we have del 3y minus 1 what is del 3y minus 1 this is 7 so we can see we have replaced all the values now we will use the scientific calculator and find out all this calculation so let me see what is the value of this uh, result in the scientific calculator so this is coming 32.94531 approximately so we can see the value of y here we have calculated with the help of the scientific calculator this is coming 32.94531 so at x is equal to 25 the value of y is coming 32.94531 so this is how we can uh, apply the Bessel's formula to get the result uh, in the interpolation so that's it for the today's lesson thank you so much